Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to explain a new release that I just came out with called the New Body Type Guide. It's finally available after all these months. This was supposed to be released in January 1st, and it's a little bit late. It's, uh, what is it, September now. So anyway, it's available, and I wanna just kinda cover what is in here. This is a, a book that's about 379 pages. It's not actually about, it's actually 379 pages. 158 graphic illustrations. When I get a book, the first thing I look at, does it have pictures, especially when you deal with eating or dieting, things like that. I want pictures to quickly assimilate. I like visuals, okay? So it has a ton of uh, graphic illustrations, full glossary, index, bibliography, FAQ, resources page. So it has everything. Um, this was formerly um, my seven principles of fat burning book but with lots and lots of upgrades, okay, and new strategies. But I wanna quickly just kinda show you something because I wanted to show you where I started years ago. This was my first book right here, isn't this nice? It's called The Real Reason Why Exercise and Diet Is Not Helping You With Losing Weight. Don't you like that image right there? People are like, what is that? Look at this, this is high quality. Isn't this terrible? <laughs> but it was my first kind. I actually did all the images myself. Look at these, look at these body types. Isn't that cool? So this was the first book. Okay, I don't, I hope you're not laughing now. And then the second book was uh, Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Okay, you can see this book, I started to evolve some technology. Okay, one little tiny problem. I noticed that there's a typo on the cover. I know, instead of lose that stubborn weight, it says loose that stubborn weight. So my wife had a bright idea. She said, let's get some stickers, sign autograph copy. So we'll put it right over loose. And that's what we did. So I basically signed um, by hand 5,000 copies in my garage. So that's how we overcame that. And then the next book was The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. And this green right here, people are like, why do you put that green image? You can't even see what it is. It's vegetables. You, can't, you have to look really close. So anyway, this, and then we upgraded it to this book here, The Seven Principles of Fat Burning, which was, um, took me a long time, seven years, to do this one right here. Um, and then as time went on, I wanted to upgrade more and more and more and more because I have, I'm always very willing to add new things that work and take out things that don't. And this is the final version. I'm not changing it right now because it really, really works. We have um, just thousands and thousands of people that are getting success. So I wanna kinda of cover what's in here because um, this book right now actually comes with a companion, if you get it on my website, this book right here. And I wanted to do a little companion book, which is, it's not lose weight to get healthy, it's get healthy to lose weight. This is a real short 58 page, lots of images in here. But the cool thing about this book, it's a summary of this book of some key points, but it has the pictures of the foods. So it shows you what three ounces versus six ounces of protein looks like. It shows you what the meal is. It shows you the percentages or the amounts of fat that you need per day. It shows you what 20% protein, 68% fat, 5% carbs look like in a day of eating. So it shows you the difference between having three meals a day and examples of the right ratios with actually two meals a day without lessening the calories. So it's a really good summary with a Q FAQ. You can probably read this in about an hour. And then what you would do is this fills in the blank right here. So if you get this, this comes with it. So I wanna just kinda of give you that um, cool additional book that will help you jump in faster, okay? So I wanna cover what is in this book. So the first thing uh, I wanna cover is that there's a little section on page six with the definition that says food, and I wanna read this. It says, food, that which is eaten to sustain life, provide energy and promote the growth and repair of tissues, nourishment. Okay, that's what food is. So there's two key words here. One is provide energy, that's with fuel. And most people think that has to be done with carbohydrates. They think they have to eat carbohydrates to give you energy, but that is not true. You could run your body on fat way better than running your body on carbohydrates. That's where you wanna get your energy. 
An average person has a very small amount of stored sugar, but they have a huge, I'm talking like over 70,000 cal stored calories of fat on their body. That is designed for you to tap into to use as your fuel. The average person never ever burns actual much of their fat. They just burn the sugar and they keep getting fatter and fatter. So this book shows you how to transition from burning sugar to burning uh, actual fat and using your own fuel as your reserve. Okay, why would you want to rely just on your, your diet for your fuel? Why don't you use your own body storage because a lot of people need to tap into that. So this shows you how to do it. But then the next thing is nourishment. So we want to do it healthily. So we want to make sure that the meals that you eat ha are nutrient dense. Okay, we want to really make sure that you're getting most of the nutrients from the food. Okay, I want to bring up that one point. Um, the next thing is, uh, the next chapter, chapter three, is about hormones in your body shape. I talk about the hormones that burn fat and the hormones that make fat. And the three hormones that make fat, it's very important to understand what those are and how they work. So I wanted to cover that. And then we get to uh, chapters five through eight. And I talked to specifically about body types. Now, a lot of the data is in this book right here. I carried it over this book to give people the basics on hormones and glands and body shapes with a lot more changes and tweaks and upgrades. So you're going to see some similarities with those chapters. Um, but I wanted to show you the triggers of what makes you into a certain body type. You got the adrenal, ovary, thyroid, and liver body types. Okay, and then when we get into chapter nine, okay, this is where I talk the talk about the actual triggers um, to fat burning. Okay, so um, I get into how to use food as a trigger to flip the switch, and I go into why people never burn fat. I go a lot into insulin. That's a, a huge addition to the older book, um, and really how to get your body into using your own fat reserve as your primary fuel uh, source, okay? You know, it's like they say, well, you, you don't want to eat less calories because you're going to starve yourself. But the goal is to get you to tap into your own body's calories, your own fat calories to make up some of the lost calories that you would eat if you weren't snacking all day long. So the people that are dependent on what they ate are really susceptible to the whole blood sugar thing, up and down, up and down, up and down. And if they don't eat, they get really tired and hungry. This way, the cravings go away and you lo no longer are hungry anymore. So then the next chapter we get into is chapter 10, and that's called Fat Burning Strategies, okay? Now these are all the specific strategies that you're going to use that are upgraded from this book. So I'm going to talk about how to get into healthy ketosis. I'm going to talk a lot about intermittent fasting and the power of that and in increasing your own body's natural growth hormone by sometimes up to 2,000%. I mean, that's incredible. Talk about anti-aging. So I get into that. I show you how to do it on a gradient so you don't experience any side effects like the keto flu, the keto rash in the transition phase. Because when you're switching over from sugar burning to fat burning, all the cells need to be satisfied with the right nutrients. And we're building almost new enzymes and new machinery to run your body on fat. And it's a transition phase, sometimes three days, sometimes two weeks, sometimes a month. But I show you to do it the best way possible and the healthiest way possible. I also get into something called the insulin index, which goes beyond the glycemic index, which is all about sugars. This, these are about all the other foods that can trigger insulin as well. Okay, People have never even heard there is such an index, but there is. And then I go into insulin resistance, which is probably one of the biggest problems right now in America in other parts of the world. And insulin resistance will affect your set point. So if you have insulin resistance, you'll lose weight, but you won't go past a certain plateau. So I sh show you what to do to support this condition so you don't, so you can avoid it, prevent it, and overcome it. All right. Now on page 156, I go into all the corrective actions that you need to do based on this new information. So I go into step by step what to do. And finally, chapter 11. 
which goes into the basic eating plan. Exactly what to eat, and everyone's going to start with this basic one plan, and then the next chapter they're going to tweak it to their body type. So you're not going to go right to a certain eating plan for adrenal or thyroid. You're going to start with the basic, then tweak it after. And because the, the body type tweaks are like in addition to its little improvements to take it one step further. All right. So the next one, next chapter is chapter 13, which gives you additional information about um, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and nutrients. Then chapter 14 talks about how to stick to it. How to stick to it because so many people start and they stop and they don't continue on. So I give you a lot of great things to overcome, social situations, every single barrier you can imagine, getting bored, being home at night with all this food in the house, like what do you do if you're tempted, things like that. And then chapter 15, I cover body issues, like how to overcome problems with fatigue because if you're trying to lose weight and you're not sleeping, well, that's going to be a problem. So we show you what to do naturally for fatigue, sleeping, cognitive issues, stress issues, craving, digestive issues, inflammation, menstrual, I show you what to do to overcome that. The next chapter, chapter 16, is about getting rid of stress. Hardly any program out there covers the stress connection to a slow metabolism. I show you a technique on how to fix your body's old stress, okay? So that alone is like awesome. The next chapter is exercise. How to tailor make your exercise to your body type. I go into the principles of how to take exercise to the next level. Um, also, chapter 18 is, gets into the eating plans as far as giving you recipes and also pleasure foods. How to consume pleasure foods but healthy pleasure foods. And I have images with that as well. Um, you're going to like that chapter. It gives you the exact recipes and the ingredients to each one. The next chapter is 19. That gets into the Q&A. Um, I get in the Q&A and then uh, the resource section. And then lastly, I have these little, this little cutout card. It's called Conscious Eating Card. And you can cut this card out. So for example, let's say you mess up. I, I explain what to do, how to make up the damage. Or let's say that you're tempted. You read the card first and what I say in the card will majorly shift your viewpoint into this temptation so we can increase the awareness. All right? So that's pretty much a summary of this book just to kind of tell you what's in it. It comes with this book right now. I'm, I'm actually giving you this at no cost um, for a small amount of time. But this will give you the summary book. Jump right in and then this will fill in the details right here. So I put a link down below. Get the book now. Start reading it and then send me your success stories. Thank you so much for watching.